In today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly vacuum an HVAC system after you've brazed and pressure checked the lines. We're gonna be using our Navac 4CFM battery powered vacuum pump and our True Blue hose kit that is massive and allows us to do this in less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna time this whole process and show you how to do it. So let's get to work. So we have pressure tested our system. We have one Schrader valve removed on the suction side and we're gonna leave this one in. We're going to install our Schrader core removal tool. Get that nice and snug. Our Schrader valve is right here, stuck to the end of that. And then on the high side, we're going to install our vacrometer. This is made by CPS. Get that fully tightened, power that up. And now let's get our True Blue kit out and show you how to install that. So here's our True Blue kit. These are pretty spendy. This is about $200, but it is worth its weight in gold. So our True Blue kit comes with a half inch fitting as well as the quarter inch to go to our unit. We go ahead and thread this onto our pump. Make sure it's snug, our clamp is snug. And next we're going to route this side over to our quarter inch connection here. And as you can see, there's no Schrader valve here. So we're gonna get a nice suction here. Make sure our clamp is tight and we are ready to power our pump on. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna leave this open. See how this has a slow start to not utilize as much battery power. We can run this for about 60 minutes, but we're gonna have this thing pumped down in probably less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna let that ramp up. Then we're just gonna go ahead and open up this valve on our valve core removal tool. This thing is extremely quiet. I'm really happy with this uh, new product. Really excited to, uh, to put it to work. All right, so let's go ahead and open this and you'll notice the pitch change. registering on our backrometer. Now the beauty of having this on our liquid line is that it's at the farthest point away from this vacuum pump, so it's gonna give us a true reading. Now if we had our vacuum pump attached right here to our core removal tool, we would probably not get an accurate reading because it's so close to the pump. Whereas now it's getting an accurate reading, we're already down to 4,000 and it's been, we probably started at 232. So let's use that as our reference. So in about one minute, we've gone down to 2,000 microns. Our target is 500 microns. So we're gonna get well below that. And then we're going to do our decay test and we're gonna make sure that it doesn't creep up within five minutes up to 500 microns. So we're just about at 500. We've been, we started at 232, so it's been three and a half minutes. And we're below our target uh, micron level. So we're gonna let this run until we get to hopefully maybe 150 microns. And then we're going to turn that valve off, which will isolate um, everything. This little blue valve right here. And we're gonna let this sit for five minutes. And that's gonna tell us if we're good to go or not. I'm super impressed with how quiet this thing is. Um, it's a pretty spendy product at about $800. I bought a separate battery just in case I would need that, but this I think is gonna be money well spent. I don't have to run around trying to find an outlet and I can pull a vacuum in less than 10 minutes. All right guys, we're at 150 microns. This is a two-stage pump, so it toned down um, we're just about at the 10 minute mark. We're at 241. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to valve off this guy right here. I'm going to totally isolate that, shut down our pump, and we're going to give this 10 minutes. And if we don't get over 500 uh, microns, then we will have passed the decay test. It's 242. So we're going to go to 252. We're gonna make sure that we're not above 500. 
All right, so I'm just working on uh, getting my insulation put on here. It is almost 10 minutes, 2.52. And as you can see, we've risen 10 whopping microns. <laughs> so not even close to our 500 limit. So this system is extremely tight, really nice vacuum, really good results from our pump. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these and we're gonna let our refrigerant into the lines. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. Very good. Now we can move this aside and we've got plenty of room to work here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy. Put that back in. So while we've got our vacuometer still hooked up to the liquid line, we're, as you can see, we're still at 180. It's well past our 10 minute um, decay test. So we're definitely good there. I've got my Schrader valve here, but I'm going to let the refrigerant in first. Then I'm gonna put that Schrader valve in. In case you're wondering, these are set up to where a little bit of pressure on the refrigerant system is not going to mess these up. Um, so don't worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the suction line first. Just gonna crank this open all the way. Okay, so now since we have pressure, you saw that this kicked out as soon as I did that. So that's exactly what we want. We're gonna put down some pressure while we spin that Schrader valve into place. As we get that, we'll start to feel some resistance. So that's completely closed and that's it. Now you always wanna make sure that you have gloves on when you're taking off um, your any fittings on these ports or if you're taking off your manifold hoses. Um, you never know when something's gonna happen. My dad told me about this guy at his work that um, one time he messed up and he forgot to put the Schrader valve in or something and he went to cover it with his thumb with no um, no gloves on or anything, which you shouldn't do that even with gloves because it can go through a glove, but he got frostbite on his thumb and almost lost his thumb. So if something happens, you can replace the refrigerant, but you can't as easily replace a limb, a finger. Um, so always keep that in mind. All right, so this one is fully seated. We're gonna go ahead and take our cap and just snug it up. And then afterwards, we're gonna use our crescent wrench and uh, tighten that up. And with these two, we're gonna do this pretty quickly because these are not low loss fittings. It's gonna spit out a little bit of refrigerant, but you wanna make sure you do it pretty quick so you have minimal loss. Nothing on that one. And not too much on this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our cap on our other side. Well guys, we are completely done with this install. Super stoked to have it done. Really impressed with the Navac pump and the True Blue kit. I highly recommend those. I'll make sure and leave them in the video description. But I hope you found this video informative as far as pulling a vacuum on your system and how to do it super fast. Now, if you wanna see some full AC installation videos, check out my playlist right here, and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.